Good afternoon, everybody. We're playing Arkage. Arkage Classic. This is the private server that's in beta right now. It's coming out August 4th. You could Google Arkage Classic and you'll come up with the uh, website for the server. I meet a dwarf here on the Western faction. So there's an Eastern faction and a Western faction. He's got a red bulbous nose, and I thought I made gray hair, but it appears he has green hair. The character creator was pretty good. I spent some time yesterday just making a character, but I didn't log in until just now. So I'm going to play for a while in the beta. I'm sure this is all going to be wiped come August 4th. But uh, I'm a noob to Arc Age. So I missed the cutscene, unfortunately. I didn't know there was an opening cutscene. There was a glider that I saw overhead crash. Um, so I'm gonna go looking for it, I suppose. That's what I'm supposed to do. Lucius Quinto. Yeah, the fallen glider. Interesting. I come to investigate a massive surge of magical energy, and all I find is a groggy dwarf with no memory. What have you been up to, I wonder? Ah, but questions will have to wait. It looks like that glider pilot needs your help. When you accept a quest, it's automatically added to the quest tracker on the right side of your screen. You can then follow the arrow beneath your feet to the location of the quest's objectives. Your position on the minimap is shown by a blue circle. The yellow cone shining out from it indicates the direction you're facing. Factory researcher. <laughs> Look at him run. Lady Igna. Well, that probably could have gone better. Don't worry about me, it's just a few cuts and bruises. Can't say the same for my glider, though. Say, can you do me a favor? I was supposed to pick energizing tea leaves for my donor, but I'm still a little unsteady from the crash. I saw a video on YouTube uh, with these things. This is, I think, some sort of tactic to hold land. So you can place these fishing ponds. And it maybe uh, it prevents other people from settling here. Maybe uh, that the time comes when uh, this person wants to grab this land. They could just recover these things and then put their plot of land down. That's just my guess. I don't know, like I said, I don't, know, I don't know anything about this game. Writing. Right click the mount icon in your bag to summon your mount. You can also place the icon on your shortcut bar. So I created my character with uh, the vitality line. Let's see if I can bring that up here. Character info. Vital vitalism novice. So the way it works is, in case you don't know, when you want to create your character, you're giving you're given the opportunity to choose from a template, sort of like uh, um, a skills bracket. And here's a skills window. So mine is under vitalism, so it gives me all these skills. And I don't get all of them, I believe. I just get the initial ones, and then I unlock them as I go. And then I could um, 
eventually pick another another one and you can pick three of these different skill lines and then eventually you combine the three and that becomes your class and there's hundreds of combinations right, I'm just looking for my mount oh, bolt. that's a glider Right click on the mount in your bed. Okay, it's in my bed. Here it is. It's a night slaver boar. Cool. Jumps up on there. Alright, and I'm off. I have to collect some tea leaves. And they're being guarded by these. Summer Leaf Greenman. It's a uh, level one. I should be able to kill him, huh? How do I hop off my mount? This mount. Perfect. Alright, let's use some of my skills. I have Shoot Arrow. Dash. Increases my movement speed. Kick. That's my Dwarven special ability. Each race has a special ability. Escape. Dance. Gotta get down. Oh, gotta do that. There he goes. The old Greenbeard's got the moves. Alright, that's good. You're good. Then I've got Recall. Warps you to the last memory tome you set as your recall point. Play instrument. It requires an instrument. Alright, I guess I get this one skill here, which is Holy Bolt. Let's do that. Oh, it's pretty powerful. It's gonna two shot him. Perfect. Corpses that sparkle can be looted for items and coins. F picks up all items, while G lets you pick and choose. Let's do G first, see what he's got. He's got a Farmer's Coin Purse and six copper. I've got some tea leaves. Got all the tea leaves. Let's hop on our boar here and get back to her. I'm sure this fellow here has another quest for us, but let's let's complete this one first. I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to do green quest lines, but I don't know if that is in uh, Archage Unchained or if it's different for Classic here. Click the bag icon in the lower right or press I to open your bag and view the items in your inventory. Oh. 
different person I have to talk to. This is a lady I have to speak with. Michaela. Michaela. Back on the board, and let's go. Well, let's see if this guy has a quest. I'm sure he does. This player is doing it. Heart shaped quest markers indicate. The local green men and hedgehogs have become addicted to the herbs we burn in our energizers. I'm offering a small reward for anyone who can drive them from the area. From Daniel, the summer leaf camp. Yep. Could I buff her? What do I have? No, I don't have any buffs yet. What is this? My teleport book? Hunting quest. X-shaped quest markers indicate a daily hunting quest. Let's kill the hedgehog. Boom. Boom. Spend skill points to learn new skills. Click the skill icon in the menu bar or press K to open the skills window. Available skill points one. So I could buy another one of my skills here. I have Holy Bolt already. I could buy Mirror of Light. Uses 12 mana, range 0 to 25 meters. It's an instant cast. It has a 21 second cooldown. Cures one debuff and increases received healing by 15% for a minute and a half. If cast on enemies, it inflicts a snare for 3 seconds, increases received damage by 12%, and decreases healing effectiveness by 30% for 20 seconds. Cool. I guess I learned it, huh? My basic melee attack. I think that's shift two. I have that already bound to you. Okay. Let me kill two more hedgehogs. She's already doing a great job of it. Oh, I can heal her. Let me try. Do I have a heal? That's something on it. I don't know what that was. Second game. <laughs> get, look at the face on this four. Right, I'll kill a green, a green man while I'm waiting for the next hedgehog. Telling you there's something satisfying about that spell. I like it. Herbal ad Addicts. Comes down fire. Oh, I see. There are some more mobs up that way. Let's hop on our trusty boar. Great. Here they are. The last one. Sound, sound is good in the game as well. Really nice sound. And I like the music. Do 
few achievements. Log is L. Fallen glider. I have to get up to the north. person on your mouth. There she is. Kayla. What? Tea leaves? But how did... Mother. Did you take that suicidal glider of yours out again? Oh, I'm going to kill that woman when she gets back. on pickup as an example of the first types of boats built by mankind to cross large bodies of water this rowboat features a lamp for better navigation at night it summons a boat or dismisses it very cool i get my first boat the glider use all right i have a glider Bags are high. But what's this farmer's crate? Spend two labor to open the pouch and see what's inside. Yeah, labor is uh, a mechanic that I've heard about. It generates over time, and you use it to do things. I hear it's for making money and things like that. So what is this? Daily schedule? Login tracker, I think you get rewards for logging in. Merit quests. Events. Wow. There's a lot going on here. Is this marketplace? If there's any pay to win, I am gonna log out and uninstall immediately. Character slot scroll. Expansion scroll. Expands the number of available slots in the bag or warehouse. Specialization snowflake. This item increases the maximum number of vocations you can specialize in and is also required for abyssal skill quests. Yeah, I heard about this too. This is for people who just want to do life skilling and trade skilling, things like that. Or mostly for those types of people because it's super expensive. An otherworld storage chest goes in a house. You can place up to 40 recover recoverable decor items. So far, it doesn't seem pay to win. Change your appearance. Gender swap. Large labor potion. Restores 1,000 labor. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this. This is... Paid, paid for how? Paid for with in-game copper? Okay, then. That's, that's a little better than paying for it. But, the, but, you know, how do you get... You can probably buy copper, like, in... Uh, I'll be on a line where you can buy 
gold, the real money, and then spend the gold to produce your character. I don't know. I have to wait to see. There's a blacksmith over here. Talk to him. This music sounds a little loud, doesn't it? Sound. Okay, I don't know what he does. Matilda. General Merchant, Yona. Fishing license. It's necessary. Is necessary. This component is a necessity for building a fishing boat dry dock. Okay. Okay. Here's Daniel. You there? Are you heading along the western road? Yes. Collect fine pollen from the honeybees west of Summerleaf Camp. I must have missed some text here. He says, I sent my nephew Heidel out that way to collect fine pollen from the local honeybees, but he should have been back hours ago. Honestly, the boy's useless. Could you go show him how it's done? Just kill the honeybees, collect the fine pollen, then give it to Heidel. I only pray he can handle carrying it back by himself. Okay, that's west down the road. Stable hand. What's he gonna do? No pet to respawn. Alright, let's get back on the road. We have to go this way, west. So I just gained 40 labor points. I have 9,040. I think I can get up to 10,000, or something like that. Here's another axe and uh, quests here. Signpost. The local slimes and lizards pose a threat to the young children in our camp. Anyone willing to help thin their numbers will be suitably rewarded. Yeah, okay, I'll kill some slimes. Why not? They are level three. in the skills window. Click Level the skills five. icon in the menu bar or press K to open it. I earn two skill points. You can learn a new skill set. Passive skill, painful recharge. Converts 3% of received damage to mana. That's kind of neat. Sets. You can learn new skill sets or check your vocational proficiencies in the skills window. Access the window by clicking the skills icon in the menu or by pressing K. Yeah, this is where I've been. So, oh yeah, here are the skill brackets. Oromancy, Songcraft is one that I'm probably going to get. Um, maybe not next, but like maybe the third one I'll get. 
Rather than directly engaging in dangerous, messy battles, this skill set is designed to offer critical support to those allies who want to get their hands dirty. So it's for support. I don't know what these these fire symbols mean next to it, but this is the one I'll probably get next. Defense. Oh, I could I could learn my next. I see. It wants me to pick one of these now. Defense. The defensive abilities that comprise this skill set protect not only the caster but also nearby allies, making it ideal for group play. Yeah. Defense. I'll take it. And I have one point to spend. I could take defense, shield slam, or refreshment. Shield slam swings your shield at an enemy, dealing 111 physical damage and stunning them for 1.6 seconds. Or refresh does. It's a, it's a cast, I guess a spell. Increases max health by 386 for 30 minutes. It only works on the caster. While active, you gain 10% of received damage as stacks of metal. I don't know what metal is, but I've heard of it. The character create page has a pretty neat um, preview. It's a, I guess, a skills preview. Where you can look at all these brackets of skills and put them all together and kind of make your class so you can plan. And uh, what I planned real quick was a, uh, well, it was vitalism, defense, and then songcraft, which turned out to be like a caretaker, something like that. I forget what it was called, the class name. Yeah, let me take, let me take the buff. Refreshment. I don't have a shield yet. During so. combat, if you use a skill in your shortcut bar that has a highlighted frame, you can gain a bonus combo effect. Really? I don't have one of those just yet, but here's refreshment. Cast it on me. Makes my hit points go higher. And I'm back to killing slimes. Lizards, level three. Kill a few of those. So here is the buff for my increased max health. Here's metal. Increases the effects of revitalizing cheer, boastful roar, and mocking howl per stack of metal. Okay, one thing I'd really like to do is get rid of the name above my character. So let me go into my settings here. Learn new abilities in the skills window. Click the skills icon in the menu bar or press K to open it. Use dash to move quickly. Double tapping W is a sprint. That's kind of neat. I don't have any skill points. I've already spent them. But I want to see options. I want to see name info, display my name. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. Oh, here are the honeybees. I think I'm supposed to collect some honey or do something with the honeybees. Let's kill them first. They're level three. It resisted one of them, I think. I got some pollen. Really crisp graphics and vivid colors in the game. I like it. The uh, actions are responsive, the quests are responsive, and I like that the sound is, is um, you know, it adds to the combat. Like, I feel like my, my spell is hitting and, and doing damage. I'd like to try a melee class, but this is kind of what I'm going to be going with on August 4th when the server starts. I want to make a healer, a uh, group-oriented type character. 
Okay, I think I've completed everything I needed to for my quests. Basic quest. I've gotten some fine pollen. And the race quest. This is... Okay, that's up here. A daughter's pride. This is the mysterious machine west of some of the camp. Alright, I gotta get back on the road and hang a right. I wanna name my boar. I gotta give him a name. And that would be proper, wouldn't it? My pet gained 600 experience points. Here's Heidel. There's a leprechaun right here. Could I talk from my mouth? He has a weird haircut. And a nose like mine. To thank you, I tried to explain to my uncle, but he just won't listen. I want to respect all living creatures, like the noble reindeer dwarfs. One day I'll run away and join them. And then he'll be sorry. Level 6. Oh, well, leveling is pretty fast here. I think that the... Uh... This server, you know, Arcade Classic, is a two times experience. I love playing zoomed out like this, but I don't think for recording it uh, is very good. I find that when I watch recordings of gameplay, I like to see it kind of close to the character. Next thing I want to check to see if his facial expressions change when he's in combat and things like that. Here's an Energizer. This might give me extra speed doing nothing. It's another player. And here's Michaela. Hey, you made it. This is one of my father's inventions. Isn't it great? Okay, here's, I guess, where I get my robo, right? She wasn't kidding. This machine is quite complex. That voice told me to look for a weapon. Could this missing artificer be involved somehow? That's me. It, it's interesting. It shows you text of what you say. To you, I mean you as your character. So that advances the quest to a hero scorned. See, it's weird. I don't get the whole text. I'm doing something. I'm cutting off the text uh, of the quest. So. I read so much as what my character said, but then there's Jarek here who says, Don't believe Michaela, she's always going on about her lying father. If he's so great, how come he never invented anything of his own? Admit it, he ran away because he was a fraud. Talk to young Finn, talk to Pavian. Here's Pavian. Fabian says, Mr. Yigna was a liar. And you're a liar too. My daddy says this machine's been here as long as he can remember. Stop lying to cover your deadbeat father. Oh, I see. There's a next. You have to hit F. Ah. Michaela says, deadbeat? Your father is a useless drunk, Fabian. You wouldn't know genius if it, genius if it smacked you in the face. And then there's young Finn over here. Young Finn says, Mr. Yigna was crazy. He tried to pass off a bunch of uh, old stuff as his own inventions and ran away before his daughter was born. Everybody knows that. And Michaela says, that's a lie. He's smarter than anybody. You're just too stupid to understand.
They're wrong. My father is a genius, and one day he's going to come back and show everyone. Wait, I know. The Grey Hermit. The Grey Hermit is a crazy old man who lives in these mountains. He tells the kids stories. If we bring him shiny coins, I asked him about my father once, and he showed me some of my dad's old schematics. All right. A Gilda star. I've heard of these. It's an ancient coin made of pure gold and minted in Aurora centuries ago. They are the rarest and most valuable coins still in circulation. And can be, and can purchase the most important quality goods such as houses, workbench designs, on Mirage Isle. All right. So I have to pick something here: a dwarven sword, a dwarven nodachi, or a dwarven staff. I'm thinking the staff since I'm a healer. Holy Bolt ranked up. Riding fairies. You can only summon a boat near water. The summoning cancels if you move too far from the water. If your boat is destroyed, you can't immediately resummon it. Alright. What do we have to do now? Oh yeah, I have to go... Oh, see, I cut off the last part of this as well. I thought I figured out that the uh, questing... Maybe if you bring him some leprechaun silver, he'd let you borrow a few of my father's designs. And we could prove to everyone that a genius my father was. I have to collect leprechaun silver, so we did see a leprechaun down the road there. Let's go look for him again. Mirror light on him. Which I don't think is so bad. Mirror light, if you cast on enemies, inflicts a snare and increases their damage by 12%. up something. An unidentified shadow blade weapon. <laughs> what is a Care Bear kit? This is gear. Healer gear. Level 30 to 55. is good. It increases my damage enough so that I have to cast one last spell. So it took three holy bolts to kill that leprechaun. After Mirror's Light, they think they watch it only took me two. Oh, this guy's still alive. Sorry! I meant to, you know, take the stuff off your cousin's dead body. Do I have to click to open that in order to loot him? Let me try it. Let me try this guy. If you, I'm going to try to just walk over to the corpse and press F. That supposedly takes everything. Yeah, I think it did. It did. That's good.
okay. Yep, I have five leprechaun silver, so let's go hand this in. Talk to the Great Hermit near the clockwork factory. Like she needs a heal. That's not ex actually a heal, but it. That's the mirror's light spell again. If I cast it on somebody else, it increases their healing. So if she has something that that heals herself, maybe that'll help her. I don't have my healing spell yet, which is odd since I am a healer. Here's the gray hermit. So yeah, these are the green question marks. I was under the impression this is what I have to follow. Just do these. And then I think there are other yellow quests that I have heard to stay away from until I'm like level 50. Just taking a quick look around. Are you the hermit? Michaela sent me. She says you knew her father and might still have some of his schematics. She also said you'd probably want these uh, shiny leprechaun coins as a trade. Because here I'll select the staff, I'll get a Gilda Star, and it looks like a mana potion. Michaela Michaela, named after her father Michael, see? Born after the boy went missing. Raised on stories. Stories like I tell sometimes. Sometimes. Time some, and some is done. It is time, you think? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, it's very important to Michaela that her father wasn't a fraud. If you really do have some of Mich Michael Yigna's schematics, she could use them to save his reputation. Do you have them? A fraud, a sham, a false man. Ooh, no, 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 he was very real. You have to keep it straight, what's real and what's not, otherwise you can go crazy. Yigna was a clever dwarf, always tinkering and fixing in the wee hours of the morning, but some problems can't be fixed with wrenches. Hmm? Some things break forever, break forever and can't be put back together. <laughs> Here, Yigna's papers make me sad. You take them and you show them to the gear boys up the hill. They'll drool, they will. Not that it will do them any good. Just leave me out of it. Hmm? An old man likes his privacy. You felt an almost hypnotic pull toward the ancient machine. Though it didn't look like the weapon you'd been told to seek, it felt significant. Why Michaela was so drawn to the machine was a mystery. But it was impossible to ignore her mention of schematics. The machine couldn't have anything to do with her father. It was far older than dwarven lifespans. However, whoever did invent it could easily have invented a weapon that could save your people. Hopefully the senile hermit had ended up with schematics only, and no prototype weapons though. Of course, it could be a ruse. The hermit could have written them himself, but you doubted it. Though obviously incomplete, they were meticulous in execution. These schematics weren't the ravings of a madman. They were the works of a genius. Besides that, the crumbling pages were far older than their eccentric keeper. They might relate to your mission. All right, here's your skill point. Well, not enough to unlock anything. Or I don't have the prereqs yet to get others, so I'll just save it.
That's oh, got up north, up the road. I'm going to ignore Dr. Conquer. to the north here. Snowy mountains up ahead. I feel like I've passed where I need to be. Down there, probably. Merchants here. Well, who exactly am I looking for? A clockwork factory worker. Well, here's one, right? That one. Show Ignis schematics to a clockwork factory worker. Destroy them. Okay, that worked. Just right clicked it in my bag. Professor Spellman's best student is Claus. He might know. Come along, pig. So that's kind of neat. I like how they don't just hold your hand through the whole entire quest. You have to read it and then go and take a little bit of initiative. I mean, it's still pretty much on rails. It's it's still, you know, leading me from one place to another and kill this, collect that, give it to him. But so far, it's entertaining me. This is Researcher Klaus. By the gods, is that Ignis original? I have to select either a bow, a shield, a loot, or a great club. I'm thinking loot because I do want Songcraft, but I don't know when I unlock my next uh, skill set. I'm taking it. Take the look. Yigna was a genius inventor. Lived about a hundred years ago. His machines laid the foundations for most dwarven technology today. Where did you get these schematics?
probably best not to admit I got them from a homeless madman. A little white lie won't hurt. Uh, I found them in a big machine by the Summerleaf camp. There's a little girl there who claims they belong to her father. And Klaus says, ah, oh, that'd be poor little Michaela, would, would it? Shame about that girl. You should talk to Professor Spellman, he can explain. Yeah, I'm, I'm cutting out the dialogue in the quests, which I don't know why I'm doing. I have to be more careful and figure that out. Here's Professor Spellman. So you found an honest-to-goodness Yigna original, eh? You certainly know how to make an entrance, stranger. Take reward. Unfortunately, the majority of Yigna's work disappeared when he did. We have the designs and inventions he made public, but we never found his private laboratory. And people have been searching for nearly a hundred years ago. I've got some achievements. I don't understand. I just met a girl named Michaela, claiming she was his daughter. Was she lying? That poor girl. No, she wasn't lying. She was lied to. Her father was a young scam artist who took Michael Igna's name and claimed to invent many of his machines. He was eventually exposed by his peers and forced to flee in shame. The real Michael Yigna died in a tra tragic explosion decades ago, and the location of his lab and private library died with him. A shame, too. I've been trying to fix one of his old generators for a few days now, with no luck. Care to give it a shot? Okay. To survive combat, it's imperative to learn new skills through the skills window. Um, I have some new skills under each skill tree antithesis instantly restores 221 health but if cast on enemies it deals 418 magic damage Whoa. hold alt to use on yourself it combos with oh, I can't move my mouse it combos with spells that I don't know the name of them yet that looks like a good one. And then over in defense, I have Bull Rush. Shoves an enemy away with your shield. I don't have a shield. Let me just take Antithesis. One point. I guess this takes four points. There's a four in this passive skill. Quick recovery. I'll wait till I get two more. Two more. If I click that now... Oh no, it only costs one. I'm not sure what that four means, but... Learn Vitalism's Quick Recovery skill with one point, yeah. So now, this passive lets me reset cooldowns on all Vitalism healing skills after receiving critical damage or critical healing. If Quick Recovery is triggered too often, it will be disabled for 12 seconds. And it's telling me here to select another skill. So this is my final skill tree. It's going to be songcraft and I have one point to spend in it quick step plays a lighthearted song for 15 seconds increases move speed by 12 to 18 percent of allies within 10 meters the effect increases the longer you play you can only stack with other performed skills and shares the cooldown with them it decreases aggro by 10 percent during the performance Dissonance plays clashing sounds to weaken and slow all enemies. Reduces skill damage, attack speed, increases cast time, reduces magic defense, and deals magic damage. Healing him plays a healing song. Hummingbird Diddy reduces cast time. Ode to Recovery. It's another healing song for me and my allies. And there are so many good songs and spells. Well, I'm thinking just to take the quick step, right? For when I travel?
Oh, I need Songcraft level 10 before I take that. The only one I can take here is Critical Discord. Deals 73 magic damage, increases critical hit rate and critical healing by 2% for 3 seconds. Hold down for continuous use. Did I not learn it? That's not working. I guess it wants me to confirm the skill set first. That's why it's not grayed out. I, I was wondering. So, okay, so I confirmed taking the songcraft skill skill bracket. So now it gives me my class. I am a caretaker. And now I can buy this skill which will it let me take quick step now I did you can expand your shortcut bar to 48 slots in the settings window in options yeah it sounds like I might need to do that I'm also in uh, my screen resolution is 1080 this is not what I usually play on. I'm gonna have to fix that. Where are the here UI? No. Shortcut bars. Shortcuts. Show third bar. Show fourth bar. Learn new skills through the skills window. You'll need them to survive. Did that even work? Oh, uh, this is. Adventuring Attic. A famous inventor. Repair the broken machine next to Professor Spellman at the Clockwork Factory. Fix the broken machines here. Three. Here they are. Broken machine. One more kick ought to do it. Some fine adjustments to this part here. One more kick. Okay, I did it. Well done. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were already familiar with the style of generator. You haven't discovered Ignis Lost Laboratory, have you? I'll make you a damn rich dwarf if you have. Summerleaf cloth upper chest or steel one leather upper chest. I'm guessing leather, right? Oh, I don't know. I'm a healer. I don't know what I could wear. I don't know the restrictions on armor. Oh, you know, it's a box that contains a uh, contains a bunch of pieces of armor. Select one. Well, I would rather take the leather. It would stink if they if I can't use it, but. Well, even if you're not Yignar returned from the dead, you're, you're clearly familiar with his work. Where do you come from, friend? If you're looking for a job, we could use someone with your mechanical know-how here at the factory. I say, I can't shake the feeling that the voice I heard was telling the truth. Save your people, it said. Whatever Yigno was working on before he disappeared, it must have been important. Well, I think I didn't say that. I think I'm thinking that. I said, actually, I'm on the hunt for Yigna's lost laboratory myself. Do you have any idea where I should start looking? 
Professor Spellman says. Ha. Can't blame you, I suppose. Let's see. I hear the Temple of Shadigan has been seizing every scrap of Yigna's research they can get their hands on for some reason. I'd start there if I were you. Good luck, Leoban. All right. Following along on my green quest line, I have to go to the great temple of Shadigan. It is all the way down here, down the road. I see my inventory. Okay, here's what I just earned. Steel Wind's leather upper chest. And here are the pieces. A jerkin. Guards. And fists. What happens when I right click it? Right click an item in your bag to automatically equip it on your character. Okay, I'm identifying them now. I'm not equipping them. I see. Things with a question mark are unidentified. So now when I right click it. Okay, yeah, this is a big upgrade. Defense goes up by 178. Magic defense goes up by 80. Strength goes up by 6. Agility by 14. And stamina by 8. That's no change in my character, though. Okay, that, that changed. We got some food and some soup. Here's an unidentified dwarven loot. Use the play instrument skill to play lutes and flutes. Lutes restore health and flutes restore mana. Oh, I had a basic loot. I guess I started with one. This is an upgraded loot. Here is an unidentified farmer's coin purse. These are things I picked up from You mobs. need labor points to gather, mine, craft, and perform other vocational activities. Yeah, okay. Use the play instrument skill to play lutes and flutes. Lutes restore health and flutes restore mana. Here's my staff that I got, and here's a shadow weapon that I picked up. Another coin purse. For some reason I can't. Right click an item in your bag to automatically oh, equip them. it on your character. They're just filled with silver. Yeah, they're just filled with coins. Makes sense, they're coin purses. I just gained a proficiency in larceny. Let's equip the staff. I had a club. Now I'm carrying a staff. figured out how to equip items. What's this? Provides three loyalty tokens every 60 minutes. Let's claim it. I got three loyalty tokens. What do you do with those? Gives you one loyalty token to exchange for items at the marketplace. Yeah, that I'm not a real big fan of. Marketplaces... Yeah.
Excuse me for one moment. Okay, down to the quest. Just follow the road. Well, I like that you could move and look Click at your map at the same to time. to memorize your current location. You can then use the recall location skill to teleport directly to the location you most recently memorized. Okay, let's do that. Memory tone. What? Where? Clockwork factory, yeah. I don't understand. The book, the teleport book, automatically records new locations the first time you visit them. You can use a hereafter stone to return to any location on the list. Okay, here, this is the hereafter stone. They have three of them. If I have to save the location, do I? I thought that she just told me and that's what I had to do. Steelwind kobolds are attacking innocent travelers. The Temple of Shadagon seeks able-bodied warriors to lend their strength in clearing the pass of these vermin. Of course, I'm going to help kill kobolds. I hate kobolds. Alright. Still have... No, I don't have... And uh, a refreshment has to be cast on me. Wow, it's been 30 minutes. Okay. And now let me get this guy with mirror. During battles, numbers beside the word combo show combo damage. Bloody numbers show mirror. critical damage. This guy hits pretty hard. Secret recipe. Kill the kobold chief and collect the bomb recipe.
He charged and knocked my bullet. Get out of the way. Almost half health. Let's let's try healing myself with um, bolt four is antithesis. Yeah, that worked. gets higher level, I believe I can use him to help fight. Oh, these two are social. One more Kobo. All right, there's the chief. my that's my melee skill probably want to fight with that for a little bit right? I don't know if that maybe I want to increase my melee skill hit him now if I cast antithesis antithesis directly on an enemy it does damage it does big damage yeah okay let me heal and then I'm going to get the chief There's a cooldown for right here. Okay, here goes nothing. This guy is pretty tough. Um, I got two ads on me. Ah, uh, here is where I run away. Let's, let's test Target out the run away. Target is facing the wrong direction. Oh, I didn't want to play the instrument. I wanted to use my run away ability. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, I died. Your last breath has escaped you. To order... Okay, I have to order a spell on. You lose 900 experience points. Wow. Equipped items lose durability. I could pray at a shrine to recover lost experience. Right, so this is why they say to ignore to the, the other quests. Oh, here I am, dead on the ground. A little heart's coming out of me. Look at the little hearts. <laughs> Let's see. Hey there, you're awake. Guess it wasn't your time yet after all. Goddess 
Nui. Caretaker, have you heard of the hereafter, the land of the dead? Part of my job as temple priestess is to talk to people about the hereafter, to explain its ways and calm their fears. No living creature had ever seen the hereafter until the goddess Nui re escorted our ancestors through it to save them from the destruction of Aurora. She sacrificed her life in the process. The goddess's lover, Lucius, still walks among us, aiding new adventurers and guiding the path of the world. He's a shapeshifter, although he's a shapeshifter though, and easy to overlook. Pay attention if you see him. Do not fear death. If you are worthy, the goddess will resurrect you and allow you to continue your journey. If you pray to thank her for it, she'll even return some of your lost experience. Is there a pray button? There's escape. This is the one I was looking for. Wow, I'm level 12 already. Dash. I could have used dash when I was running away as well. Lots of emotes. Pray. You pray for glorious Nui. If you die, you can recover some of your lost experience by praying at a shrine. So, I just did the emote, but is that working? Or is it just automatically praying? Why does it show my experience? Oh, down here. Oh, you could respec here. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna guess that I'm good to go. Let me test out my sprint. Oh yeah, there I go. And let me test out my travel speed with the loot. What is that glowy thing? Oh, this is the stupid quest that I got killed at. I mean, I, should I try it again? I think if I if I kill all of the kobolds first, and then try for the chief, I should be okay. But they kind of respawn quick, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But yeah, I really shouldn't, because I want to get through my green quest. And this is just going to slow me down.
There's a chief here. I've got to get my buff back on. Cast uh, refreshment. Out of you. Oh no. Okay, you can't sprint when in combat. But my loot works. instrument to re level 13 I earned a skill point and I got an upgrade on my holy bolt Oh, it automatically heals you to full. Didn't have to cast that heal. Let's look at my skill trees. One point to spend. I guess I'll take Starling Strain. Stuns an enemy for two seconds with a special performance. After the stun ends, the enemy is charmed and susceptible to other songcraft skill effects. That won't really have too much of an impact until I learn Songcraft uh, Critical Discord, which does damage and increases critical hit rate and critical healing. Well, it does stun. The Startling Strain does stun. Okay, now I think I can get him. The thrower is coming too close. Gotta heal. Gotta heal. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna die.
I have zero experience. I guess this is how much I lost, so how do I pray? Let me ask. I'm in local, how do I get to global? Maybe they can hear me here. How do I pray to regain experience? I think I have to do that under faction. How do I pray to regain lost experience. Yes, I know I have to pray to the statue. Priestess. Okay, here's the priestess. Basic abilities. Recall, dash, dance. There's no prey. I don't know. Maybe I don't lose experience yet? I mean, it did. It said I lost experience. Crusader armor. Plate armor. Oh wow, I can wear that. Katana. Some cut purses gives me coins. All right, <clears throat> I'm almost at the uh, quest handed here. I'm, here's the temple. I mean, I don't think they allow pigs inside. Standby mode. Cool. Yeah, he's a good boy. Guard jewel fee. Halt, stop right there, do not interrupt. Halt, Ramstein is investigating one of the heretic's inventions on orders from the Sage of Silver. None are allowed entrance at this time.
get in there now. Senior researcher Prenell. Wait, you're Leoban, aren't you? I heard one of the Pockwork Factory students talking about you. The dwarf with no memory, who just happened to have an original design by the famous Michael Yitna. These priests won't tell you anything. They're convinced Yigna was a heretic. If you want answers, you should talk to Coven outside the temple. He's been studying Yigna's work for years. I'm sure he'd love to speak with you. Okay. Now I'm going to call it here. I did get another piece of... Oh yeah, and another armor box. Let me unwrap this and see what this is. Unidentified breeches. Unidentified belt. Unidentified boots. So I have... The breeches are the pants. The belt. And the boots. Very good. How do I see my guy? There's no, like, paper doll? I guess not. That's it. I have to be on the paper doll in the game. I have a plate helmet and everything else is leather. Kind of neat, though. Like it? So far, very fun. Follow mode. Come on, let's go. Here's the researcher Colvin. I'm going to speak to you next time I log in. It should be later on this evening. Too nice a day to spend hours inside here, though. I'm going to hop in the pool. I'm going to go catch a baseball game, and then I'll be back later with some more Arc Age. If the game keeps entertaining like it is here, I will for sure be back on August 4th for the re release of Arc Age Classic. Again, Art Gage Classic on Google. Art Gage Classic on Google, you can check it out. It wasn't too um, much of a hassle to install, get up running on the computer. Uh, the one thing I did have to do, which was a bit of a hassle, was install WinRAR in, Win in order to um, unpack the download. The built-in Windows WinZip or whatever is built into Windows. It didn't work. Okay, now my beard looks gray. Look at that. See, that's the color I made my beard. It wasn't It wasn't green. I told you so. And my nose looks a little less red. And apparently, I have something in my ear. But there he is, Leoban, the caretaker dwarf. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed playing it. I'm really having a good time with it so far. This could be it. I hope that it is because from what I'm hearing, Arc Age has a lot. It has player housing. It has crafting. It has dungeons. It has raids. It has PvP. It has seafaring. You know, you got on the oceans with the boat. It's got a lot. And I'm really looking forward to it. Hope that it's going to be good. And I'll be back with this beta again real soon. Until then. Have a great day.